Well, I believe that's all the quests, the actual green quests in this region for now. I still want to probably... Well, I want to get... Oh yeah, there's Chadley's thing too. We should probably get to that, the summon. So, the life springs. And then... The... Sanctuary. Here we go. Cavern Lake Life Spring. This animation... I also feel like this animation itself is pretty long too, because this entire time, we're completely disabled. We can't really move. And we gotta wait for all these little pop-ups on the screen to play out, which is okay once in a while, but there's four life- there's like six life springs in this area. And then we have how many open world areas. Little things that start adding up in the time. No intel for this one? Okay, be that way. Ooh, this place is kind of pre. And cavernous. Yes, little birdie. A spring, eh? Shall we have a wee shifty? Grotto life spring. Very quiet here. Birdie, you just live in this little cavern? Here we go. Oh, it's pretty. Cute. I expect there to be more animals around here, you know? It's so full of resources and whatnot. But nope, only birds usually. This one bird faded to guide us here. We gotta get something here, right? Transmuter chip. It's hidden within overgrown ruins. If my readings are correct, these mysterious structures predate even the Republic. Goodness, what an adventure! Did we not do that for this region already? Excavation Intel 2. Oh. Okay. Sure. The Gangaga Mako reactor incident. First-generation Mako reactors based on the one built in Nebel are prone to malfunction due to flaws in the pressurization system's design. This, however, did not deter Shinra from installing them at various locations throughout the world, including Gangaga. The company's failure to follow their own inspection and maintenance procedures led to a disastrous explosion, which claimed the lives of many villagers. Acknowledging its part in the incident, Shinra dedicated a monument to its victims. This accident was not an isolated occurrence, though as at least one other reactor is known to have exploded in a similar fashion. Stranger yet, Shinra has been investigating alleged sightings of gigantic lifeforms known as weapons near the remains of these destroyed Mako reactors. Oh, do weapons only appear near the destroyed reactors? If so, then they sort of have an incentive to... let them explode. But yeah, their, their attitude towards this one is actually kind of mysterious. Why would they even bother building a monument when for Corel? They actively try to cover it up by des destroying the entire town. Weird. That chip's gotta be nearby. I don't think we need this for doing a quest because we already did all the quests, but you never know. You never know, right? Oh! Piece of cake. I didn't even oh, see oh, you guys. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any MP. <laughs> That's okay. Deal with that. Yeah, I'll there you have it. Now we gotta call back the Chocobo. Can I just... Can you just... We know it's here. Thank you. We can do Manifestation of the Planet's Splendor and Marlboro Orb. It's outside. No, I'm on the boxes! Come on! Yeah. 
What were these ruins then? These actually are Setra ruins then, right? Because they mentioned that Gungaga was home to ancient Setra. <laughs> ancient Setra. Ancient, ancient. <laughs> That's cool. I wonder if they have their own language and stuff. We just don't know too much about them overall. Where is it? Wait, it's like above us? How do we get there? Here we go. Thank you. Enhanced outlaw bangle. But there is more. Jeweled ring. White cape. Sweet. Is there anything new I can make here? Mm, don't have the materials. Exquisite beast hide. I can make the enhanced crocodile bracelet. Marlboro orb. Shimmering sphere that contains the potent pungence of the infamous Marlboro. Extends duration of detrimental status effects on foes. Ah, I don't think I'll really need it. I don't mind doing it for... Wait. This takes the Tendril, though. That Tendril is a bit rare to come by because we have to defeat the Marlboro again to get it. I don't know if I want to make it. Maybe I want to store it up just in case. But there is... It's only 5 XP, though. This is not that great. In terms of XP. Hmm. Jeweled Ring. Immunity to Petrifying Stone. I guess that's good. Okay, leave it at that for now. And then I believe the last intel, the sanctuary. Probably around the corner somewhere. I don't want to spend like a million years trying to do the full might fight again. <laughs> Maybe. And then we can probably go back to Shadley and try out the Kujita. As many local residents would attest, Kujata can harness Kujata. and wield the elements of fire, ice, and lightning. Oh, wow. It can strike down its foes with the combined might of all three. A shocking, chilling, and burning attack. Sounds like it'll be hard for us to guard against them, then. Oh! Wait, is that snail an enemy? It's not, right? Not here for hate. Leave me alone. <laughs> That's okay. I am here for the sanctuary. If you'd please. Is it around here? It should be. Oh, and then you're expected to kick the next one to try to find it, I guess. Yeah, it's up there. Oh, there's a, there's a rope. Oh! Okay. I guess you were meant to climb the rope after all. Alright, little buddy, thank you for the trip. I'll have to go on foot for now. Silly, though. I guess chocobos normally can't really fly. It's like a chicken. It can climb a lot. But not really flying. Wow, this one's a bit of a trek to get to. Here we go. a bit more complicated. It's like, what is it even? Its face is like three faces stacked on top of each other. What in the world? 
All right, there you go. That concludes our analysis of the Kangaga Summon Crystals. Thank you. I suspect Kujata is quite pleased to have joined your cause. Ah, though you have yet to obtain the requisite materia, as I recall, you'll <sighs> yes, I know. To confront the divine <laughs> via the combat simulator. And that's why you want to do it before you do all the sanctuaries, because it gets kind of like, oh yeah, it'll just say the same thing again. Oh! Can I jump off this one? Kind of want to do that just to see where this goes. Out of here! Whoa! Whoa! Oh wow, that was a pretty dang far jump. Yeah. Yeah, we jumped all the way from here to there. Dang, that's crazy. Okay, I think that pretty much makes all the stuff I'm interested in the map, even though we still got like a big gray part. There shouldn't be anything though, because, you know, there's no... We got all the towers already, and they're not saying we have anything here, which means... Ah, <sighs> let's, let's check out Chadley. And we, we didn't go back to Snaps yet, did we? Yeah. Uh, here's my here's my photo. Hey there. Thank you for tracking down that spot. Oh Quite the view you can forgot to come back. Great work getting that shot. You really are one shrewd shutterbug. To quote the association. Your talents are inimitable. You've got quite the portfolio now. Can't wait to see how it grows. I forgot to go back to him earlier. This must be I one gave of two at the same time. Mushrooms. Vogue Only photographer. Don't forget to try some of our what a beautiful color. All right, let's good. see what's going on here with Chadley. Cloud, you may now fight Kujata, the phantasmagorical beast of Gungaga legend in the simulator. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Yes. Before that, I guess we can get this, this Petrify... Wait, how many do you have available? Yeah, you can have two, okay. Synergy support? Sure. Now the Kujata, I, I'm really curious what you're even weak against. We have to find that out first. Yeah, I... <sighs> Maybe let's take it easy this time, okay? Try like a lower, a weaker version. <laughs> I, I'm tired. Mm, wait, where is your description? Confront Kujata, the great beast who holds sway over the natural world to gauge the deer form entity's combat prowess. Oh, it's all the same. It's basically the same thing. All right, let's see. I'll just try this one and, you know, I'm... I'm oh. Oh, I thought that was that last spot there. It meant that we still had one more party member we hadn't gotten yet. It scared me. Let's go Cloud, Yuffie, and Aerith. Yeah, putting in Yuffie here is my attempt to try to switch it all up so it's not just the same people all the time. But I I gotta do it a little bit at a time. Ooh. I need to like adjust my materia after seeing you. I don't know how I did that. Allow me. A ferocious summon recreated in virtual reality, the gargantuan manifestation of nature itself, this guardian of the forest can freely manipulate its elemental affinity. Switches between fire, ice, lightning alignments. Dealing a certain amount of damage by exploding its elemental weakness will pressure it and remove its current affinity. If left unchecked, it'll spawn a new elemental being. Oh no. Once it attunes to all three elements, it'll unleash Tri Disaster. Oh god, okay. Okay. I haven't really made use of it, but stuff like Petrify doesn't really work on boss creatures, does it? Well, okay. It doesn't have an element yet, which means maybe I'll focus on setting up with Aerith to begin with. Oh! What? Come on! I You didn't even stomp on me! Get away! Do some. I don't know what element you need yet, so I'm a little bit hesitant to immediately do something. Oh, there we go. Ice. You need to don't let me down. My turn. You don't want to leave anything unchecked. Oh, by the way, I have some new information here that I didn't know before. Apparently, the arcane ward works for any person, not just Aerith. So anybody can stand in here. 
<gasps> okay. I don't think I'll get to try it this time, but um, note it for next time or something. Yeah, I didn't even get the sorceress ward. Yikes, that was a really okay. Calling ice. Well, that didn't even do anything. I didn't even do anything. I'm your one -stop club, oh, this is not good. Blazaga! Yuffie can do. Con this is probably better than her ninjutsu, right? But it takes a while to cast. Takes a while to cast. This isn't gonna go well without. Mmm, Blazaga. Probably wanna give it to Aerith then. Oh, but then it's not the only one we'll need because this guy will change. He'll change elements, right? Right? Yeah, like right now. He's not. He's changed up. Here it comes. Oh! I can revive Aerith. Completely forgot about the... No. No, Cloud doesn't have revive anymore. I gotta put that back on him. <laughs> Got so happy for a second. It's okay, this is my, my first attempt to just see what's, what the hell's going on here. That's all. Let's do this. Did you not do... Let's do this. Yeah, Disorder, Prime Mode... You had your chance. And then, you're not weak against anything in particular right now, but I guess... Would be a good time to heal up, we're not doing that great. You or me? Heal yourself. I think we need to make sure we're healed up ourselves too. Let's try that again. Yeah. Can we get away? Yeah. So what, you're gonna do a different... Summon? Remove? Hopefully eventually you'll... You're up. You'll be weak against it. Oh, damn you. <laughs> oh, no, I don't have anybody with arrow here. I can just do the dinky little wind current. That's pretty much it. You're in good hands now. You need to be not ice. Whoa, how do we- oh god, okay. We need to avoid some of its crap, too. <gasps> oh, I know, you got Windstorm. Even though that's best for multiple creatures, I think. Oh, she's electrified. That's not good. So I guess Ramu, not really the greatest to be doing anything for him. Oh! Oh my god! We need the right elementals. Cloud needs wind. And then Aerith needs to be alive. What the heck happened to the revival material? I thought I had it on me, but it's... It's all gone now. <laughs> I'm still gonna give him my best shot, of course. Oh, very, very silly. Hey, at least my limit breaks here. <laughs> oh, I don't have any synergies with Yuffie. That's pretty bad. Any last words? Must not have unlocked anything. Take the lead. If you insist. Wait, it's. I have to pay more attention to its elemental changes because it's not even weak against wind anymore. I think. Get some rest. Yeah, we have to constantly keep checking. I'm 
I don't really get why they don't let you use items in the... Um, in the combat simulator. Fire now? Oh, now you don't have any MP. Oh, that was very bad. So the horn, the horn is a straight attack that we can avoid. If we dodge properly. Gotta be careful. Woo! Oh god, we're gonna die. You won't regret this. Oh god, we're gonna die. Just you. How you like this? <laughs> we're gonna die! Double king? Now with extra beguiling ninja. Oh god, we're we're dead. Oh! There might be a better hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to see. Look, look, so I have a lot of ATB now, but if I do all those other attacks, it doesn't really target the elemental, so I still feel like I want the. I want to use a ninjutsu, even though it doesn't do that much. Oh dear. Yeah, this isn't. Okay. Well, we tried, right? I gotta get the right. First of all, Aerith has to be alive. That would be great. The distance does make it a little bit easier. Oh, jeez. Okay. The UV have chakra. Limit siphon. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. With the power of his providence. Nice. Would be nicer if we had. Other people here to help. When the fury of his surging seas. Okay. I think this is as good as it gets for this time. Oh god. Winter comes. Yep. And Wu Tai's white rose withers away. The end. <laughs> Let's change up my materia. Deal with that. Here I go. Gotcha. Got you now. How you like this? Just you. This call. Good to go. Out. It's your turn. Take the lead. Here goes. Go on. This one's for you. Stop it. Jesus, dude. Fire. I don't want to use all my MP. Keep it together. You will regret this. Let's turn up the grill. <laughs> How you like this? Oh, it's gonna do some. Duh! Don't be annoying. Now with extra beguiling ninjas. Don't let me down. I'm coming. No, don't, don't, don't. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Stop! You're so aggressive! Just leave me the heck alone! What's wrong with you? Oh, thank God for the pressuring. Deal with that. I'm your one stop clobber shop. Am I not doing fire right now? Oh, you're already not weak against fire, no wonder. Should probably heal up everyone around you a little bit. Do me proud. I'll show you what I can do. One more shot. It's your turn. My turn. Sorry, Aerith. I don't know how to. I haven't been able to block that, you know? I I just 
Try this. We have something going on here. Let's do your shit. Firework blade. Okay. Eric. <laughs> Served up on a Try using it. Ladder. You're gonna get what's coming to you. <laughs> Just this yeah. one's for you. <laughs> we need to heal up though. Kiraga. I'm trying to save MP at the same time. Oh, everyone's standing here. This is not good. Yeah. Turn into your other goddamn elements. Or else I'm gonna summon- I'm gonna summon Phoenix here. So Phoenix has the Arise ability, which raises dead people, just in case. Might be a little bit too early to use in the fight, but... Can never be too careful. Wind. So it's very nice that Yuffie can do all these elements without using MP. That's the best part about her right now. Oh god, leave me the heck alone. You freaking weirdo. Crimson Rondur. No, 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 no. Go away. I can do Windstorm right now, too. That's a thing. I'm coming. Uh oh. You can do it. Let's do this. <sighs> Still up for it. Deal with that. You will all right. So it's my turn? This is so crazy. Hey, that's it. No way. This one's for you. Too. It's your turn. Just oh, cloud. Win if you insist. A bonus. No, don't have everyone stand in the same place here. It's not good. Go forth and kick butt, you beast. So its elemental is gone. Here it comes. Can you take over for I got me? This. Duh! You're so. Stop standing in Aerith's ward. How about you get out of here? Rooms the wrong door. No. Be a little conservative. Okay, all right. Let's try that again. Here goes. Oh! Okay, perfect time for a Phoenix to go, but unfortunately we didn't get to activate any abilities. Oh, thanks for the Get healing! Nice! Oh, no, no, no. It's your turn. My turn. See, this guy loves to just rampage and charge everyone, so I've learned to just not even try to activate anything when it's like that. Cause it's not good. Um It's on you. Here I go. Let's turn up the grill. Gotcha. Gotcha. How you like Is my doppelganger still here? Yeah, she is. Dog! Okay. Aerith. I'm coming. Okay, Aerith did not need to ward shift there. That's okay. This is gonna hurt. Oh, she ward shifted oh out God. of the arcane oh, ward. That was silly. Okay, very close to being able to. No firework blade. That's fine. Ascension. Oh, we already ascension. Good, good, good. Now's our chance. You Let's do the this. Right Gotta give it my all. Should we do Art of War normally? Ready or not, here I come. To on. Ah! One more shot. The soul drain. Just a bit. Here it comes. Oh no, everybody get the hell out of there. Yeah. 
United refocus. Gonna enjoy this. Did it even do anything? Oh god. Okay, ice, ice. Lend me your strength. I'm hesitant. I'm very hesitant to use. Yeah, I'm gonna go conservative here. Keep it together. You won't regret this. How you like that? I'm gonna primarily use no Yuffie to do some elemental attacks. Oh no no, we're healing it by using fire. We gotta be careful. So it's my turn. Oh, it's look, it's it's charging. Planet's protection only once per battle. Okay. Can you take over? Hey, back. I beg of you, shield them from harm. Okay. Cloud doesn't have very much MP. Don't overdo it. If you insist. Doppelganger. This calls for more Yuffie. Aerith has free three bars, dang it. Oh, are her wards gone? They may be. In which case. Does the Corona Aegis even work here? I don't know. Don't catch a cold. Sorry about that. We're getting somewhere. Try this. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot. I'm worried about Aerith's MP. Lend me your you can do it. Let's do this. Here it comes. Keep it together. You won't regret this. Yuffie? What builds stagger the most for you? I want to do your limit break later, but I don't know if we have time. Just a little bit, come on. Build that stagger! Yuffie! Limit break! And then I think we should be a bit conservative here and just make sure we're all. Oh, see? The lack of. Finish it! Let me teach him a lesson. This one's for you! Let's heal everyone a little bit. Keep up the pressure, Enough. okay? Just a little should help. Okay, what else do you want to do? Deal with that. You're in good hands now. Gotcha. Oh god. How you like this? Come on, do a do whatever you want. I'm ready, but you gotta you gotta do something first. Right. Here goes. Ha! One more shot. You Take can it over. Yeah. Fire. Firework blit United refocus. Here I go. Let's turn up the grill. Step it up. I thought you knew. Ha! Whoa. Ha! You just trying to stay far away, Yuffie? Yeah, not much MP left here. Gotcha. No, move, move. Kind of pay. Here I go. Get him. That's it. Okay, Yuffie. Yuffie has a good amount of MP. Heal yourself up. Oh, it's gonna do a charge. I'm outside of the radiant ward. That's okay. My turn. You're burning up. Go on. It's on you. I'm your one stop slobbering shot. Here it comes. Now, 
now with extra Vagina Ninjas. There we go. All right, some pressuring going on. That's what I like to see. What are you doing right now? Try this. Okay. Looking for me? Oh, even Aerith is running out of MP. That's not good. I got this. Very close. Here it comes. Alrighty. Wait. Keep it up. The Let's finish this. We good? All right. Okay, I saved myself some misery no time to celebrate. by by doing one minus full power. This was not um, yeah, it's not a. I think it's probably one of the harder ones though. Even not, even with one difficulty down. The first few attempts, the problem I ran into was that this guy was very aggressive. He would charge everybody. Excellent work, reigning in Kujata. To think that anyone could tame a beast of so many affinities. I cannot say where this wild steed might lead you, but I encourage you to find out. Yeah, I think for me, maybe the strategy that worked the best was, uh, well, the first few tries, I could spam materia attacks, elemental materia attacks, but I ran out of MP very quickly. And then when that happened, it felt like I couldn't do anything. And in those cases, that's where Yuffie came in, because you her using her ninjutsu, the great thing about it was that we could do elemental attacks without using MP. So Yuffie for elemental attacks, Cloud for maybe focus thrust and just general trying to distract everybody. <laughs> and then Aerith... Yeah, Aerith for the bigger spells. Maybe that was I a way there. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Mm-hmm. Aerith... Yeah, the setting up, the setting up takes a while though. The, the Radiant Ward and the Arcane Ward and all that, but... Whew, okay. Are we good? Are we good? I think so. Yeah, I think I'm happy for now. Does that mean we go to the airstrip? Let's, right? Oh, but before... You know what? Let's stick with Yuffie and Aerith for a while, but I did move some of the materia around. Let me see if I can move it back. Like, I ended up giving Lightning and Wind to Yuffie because this one, as nice as it is right now, it's lower level. The Wind Materia from Yuffie that I gave to Aerith, it has Aurora. So I'll give it back to her now, but then you should probably focus on leveling up the Lightning and Wind. The Fire and Ice has been leveled up, so now we can do Fira and Blizzara, finally. But we need a little bit more than that. Okay. Oh. Cloud could probably do with Assess again. Revival? I still like Revival on Cloud, but Assess... Assess is necessary! Assess is life! <laughs> I... Whoa, no one's using that Ice Materia, seriously? We need Assess. Is some... No one using that Ice Materia? Oh, this is almost full too. Very close. Oh man, once we get all the level 3s on Aerith's Materia, that's gonna be crazy. Did you have Ice Barret? No, you don't. Let's have Ice. And then Red, I don't even remember what I took from you. That's okay. Just have... something. Lightning? You already have Lightning. Hmm... Stuff like Petrify, Barrier, I prefer being offensive rather than being defensive. So when I see that, I'm just kind of like, eh, usually. There's no linkage here. Magic efficiency. For someone like... Man, I haven't... That enemy skill and morph, I've barely used it. Okay, just do like a simple... You can have the first strike materia. Red, how about that? Oh, I gotta still work on... Red and Barret to get their skills done. So we'll go with that for now, and I think we can say goodbye to Gungaga for the time being. Yeah, go to the pilot. From here. From here? Ooh! 
You just jump right down. We sort of grazed by the area earlier. Gungaga airstrip. Well, looks like we found the airstrip. Or what's left of it. Yeah, it's definitely seen better days. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. See that? Oh, a Republic telephone booth, eh? What the wee look? A telephone booth? Hold up. Let me just see if I can make some stuff with my 99. Yeah, some of this stuff. I don't even need... I just want to make sure I can pick it up instead of picking it up and not being able to do anything with it. I can't make this yet. Cosmotite ore, I don't have that, that's why. Maiden's Kiss! There we go. Planet Splendor. Oregano. There you go. What else do we have 99 of? Laurel, Beast Talon. I don't use any of this, I just want to pick it up. That's all. Okay. Oh. Nope. 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 Good. Does it work? Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long. <laughs> but I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane. Follow the smoke! Survival skills, Yuffie. Come to Come me, to me. Airplane. airplane. Follow, Follow the smoke. The smoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Uh -huh. What? Look. <gasps> we <Ooh. got> you. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Told you I'd speed things up. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Bravo, sir! Who is it? Do we know them? Oh! Where to, folks? Are you Sid? Cosmo Canyon, please. Uh, you talk? The hell kind of magic trick is this? Uh, <clears throat> uh. Not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? You're the only one who's reacted to red, actually. Too many. <sighs> but the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. That's fine. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to y'all pony up. That's fine. I will pony up. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Gotta make sure my baby's balanced just so. We might already be multi-millionaires by Midgar standards. <laughs> 1,000 gil. He thinks it's a lot, but we have 75k. And I haven't even sold any of my rubies, sapphires. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out and you're on your own. Claws. <laughs> Here we go! Is this Sid? I'm just wondering, because uh, I know now that apparently every Final Fantasy has a Sid. And, and, and a high wind? High wind, Sid? We're flying! No shit, kid. Who do you think I am? I don't know. Who? 
President and pilot yeah. of Bronco Airlines, Sid Highwind. Pleasure having you aboard. Didn't they mention one of the Shinra... Back when we were in Junon, didn't they say the thing was named Highwind as well? I must admit, I didn't expect to find a willing <gasps> participant. <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. No! What are you doing to him? Oh, God! I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. Roach! No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Roach, no, my bro! Once, this would have taken years, but now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> what is that? It that doesn't look like a materia. What are you doing to my bro? Cosmo Canyon, this has got to be it. Ooh! Pretty. And hopefully not much verticality and climbing. I've had enough of that with Gengaga. Oh! Uh-oh. What? Ooh. Thought maybe plants would be okay, but nope. Out in here? Open a window! Uh -oh. Hey, see it. Yeah? You not worried about flying around in the open like this? What if Shinra sees us? Shinra don't own the skies. Shitheads couldn't stop me even if they tried. <laughs> I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. We're getting pretty close now. Yep, bringing her down. Shinra doesn't know we're on the plane. It's fine. It's just tiny Bronco Airlines flying their flight. Hey, making use of the the dual shock motion sensor stuff. Watcher of the Veil. Brought you as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. Thanks, man. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to you. It'll be free though, right? No more thousand gil. Thanks, man. <laughs> the veil's this way. Oh, that book. The folios that we've been getting for red, wasn't it something about the veil? This veil? Bronco Airlines, inspect the telephone booth at an airstrip to send up a smoke signal and call upon the tiny Bronco. After alighting, the pilot will happily fly you to any airstrip you've visited before for the right price, of course. 1,000 gil every time. Oh, no. 3,300 gil every time. Bahamut arisen. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, great. 
<laughs> Great. Yeah, we just sort of left that behind for a little bit. And now we're here. Cosmo Canyon. It was among the red rocks of this ancient geological formation that the planetology that planetology was first conceived. While many pilgrims and scholars gather here to deepen their scientific and spiritual knowledge, the Vale also attracts tourists that possess only a passing familiarity with the core tenets. Let's just walk. Red, you know the way, right? Should I be following you? There's just signs for Cosmo Canyon, that's it. We don't have a chocobo here. Not yet. Oh yes! Red. Lead the way. Although they do have many helpful signs here. Appreciate it. So this your birthplace? Oh. It says angry in Japanese on their stomach. <laughs> okay. Ski ski. Oh, okay. Ski ski. Let's do it right. Avian creatures that nest in arid environments. Highly combative, they boldly threaten anything that opposes them. Flying out of control once angered. Evading Fury Bomber will pressure them. Or just your mind. Murder them until they're dead. Let's kick it up Can you do it? Oh, I'm sorry. Did it work? I'm counting on you. Yeah, I'll do it. Hmm. There's that doesn't look like a village, but we're getting somewhere. Red. Go ahead, lead the way. Can I break these pots? No, no, that's their... Welcome, tourists. Pots. Shouldn't be breaking them. Desert Sahagin. I feel like I've seen you maybe in FF16? Recognize your name. I got you. Land-dwelling creatures that abide in arid environments. They are intelligent enough to have created their own language and quenched their thirst solely through moisture contained in the plants and the bugs they eat. Damn. Take the lead. Need my help, do you? I'll walk a little closer before doing point blank. I'm coming for you. Whatever. Shit hurts, don't. How about now? They bring it home. Follow my lead. So now we can do Watcher's Respite. Deplete the Vengeance Gauge to heal allies. But if I did it while it was full, it would have done more. Come on. It's so hard for me to get into Vengeance mode as it is. I feel like I don't really I wouldn't really do that normally in a battle. Yeah, I haven't been doing synergy abilities for a while, huh? I learned one thing and then I forget the last. <laughs> There's so With much me, to handle. Let's <laughs> heal a little bit. Why not? We need to unlock some synergy skills for Cloud and Yuffie, though, I think. Chocobo Ranch. Desert Chocobos? Oh. Is that the Chocobo theme? <laughs> Hi. Shawnee. That you? Who's Shawnee? One of your Chocobos? Did they run away from home? <laughs> My apologies. I don't believe we've met. I'm Kamaria, the owner. <laughs> so, Shawnee's your bird? Goodness, no. Shawnee's my daughter. She's a chocobo jockey, or was, till she fell off her mount during a race. <sighs> Since then, she's completely lost her nerve. Refuses to get back in the saddle. I see. Oh! Tell me, you kids any good at riding? Yeah, 
We dabble. We're okay. Wonderful. In that case, how would you like to use my training course? I had everything built brand new just for Shawnee, but now it's going to waste. Someone ought to put it to good use, don't you think? And who better than you young go-getters? I don't know. Ever run a ring course? It's simple. You strap yourselves in and fly through a series of hoops. I reckon you won't find a course like mine anywhere else. <laughs> Whoa! That sounds amazing! <laughs> you want to try it, right? Imagine how jealous everyone will be. Sure. But first, you'll need to catch yourselves a chocobo. One that isn't afraid of heights. A fine bird like Apony ought to do you, though. Go ahead and ride her over to the training course. Twisting paths and bewildering brushlands. She'll guide you through it all with ease. Apony, huh? Okay. Oh, this is a new thing. Racing tracks. Oh, I'll do a few. Wow, you guys are like a, a teal color. Bring Apony over to the training course when you're ready. Twisting paths and bewildering brushlands. She'll guide you through it all with ease. Oh, I see Chadley is here already. Seriously? Wait, where is he? He's like up there? Yeah, but where where is Apony though? Apony it wasn't one of the ones right there, right? Hi. I see you too have come to do a little aging <laughs> investigation. While most chocobos run on land, the birds around here are capable of taking to the skies. Flying on Chocoback must be quite the thrill. Flying? Is that what we're doing here? Flying? Synergy materia, poison, and petrify. Oh, that could be nice. Fitting it into one materia. Jump materia. <gasps> Allows you to leap into the air during battle with jump. After disappearing for a time, you will drop down to deal damage. Well, like Pokemon, where it takes one turn to fly and then, you know, you attack the person. Okay. Skill master. Ah, these are kind of like whatever. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Yeah. Welcome. Feel free to have a look at our wares. I might not have that many plumes though. Yeah, I basically usually have enough for the bottom set, but not like the hat. Then maybe I'll hold off for now. Yeah. Choke goodbye for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apony is right there. Yes. So we we, we want to get there. Is that a place we get to by continuing this way? Thank you, thank you. Thank you for that as well. Road Warrior Bangle, Snail Shell Bracelet. Hey, Road Warrior, it's better for Cloud, completely. Even the snail shell is good for everyone here. Yeah, let's let's buy some, upgrade our people's stuff. Not good for Cloud though. No. Cloud, outlaw bangle. We can have a road road warrior bangle. Plus a little bit. That's nice. And then maybe... Aerith? I feel like Aerith's thing hasn't updated for a while. We haven't changed her band for a while. The old beast one's better. Uh, the illusionist armband is better, but less slots. Snail shell? Yeah. Now you have an extra slot, and it's linked. Even more linked slots for you. Just have... Pet... Time. Time is nice for the haste. Yeah, I don't know, man. I found materia that works for me, and then everything else I'm just kind of like, well, you know what? Everything is working fine for me. <laughs> I just have a quick look here. Is there anything else 
another bracelet that would be better completely. Just scanning to see if there was any blue, anything that's completely blue. This one. Oh, but Barrett's using it. Yeah, okay, we're good. I just used 10k of my money, okay? That's enough for one time. That is a lot of- oh my god. A lot of SP just sitting here. How long haven't I looked at this for? <laughs> yeah, ATB charge rate up? It's always gonna be good. Oh, but the SP goes really quickly now. Yeah. Limit gauge charge rate upon successful blocking, which I barely do. Synergy ability damage. MP regeneration. Defense by 10% while in Punisher mode. Oh! Cloud and Yuffie. Let's have some of that. Max MP. Reduced damage. Taken. Ringmaster. Red and Aerith. Sure. Reduce damage by 5%. This one is needed to go forward though. But do we want the other stuff? Maybe not the greatest stuff. Friendly fire. Oh! Applies regen status upon entering battle. Oh my gosh. Barret has a lot of HP though. Maybe not the most necessary thing. But can't be a bad thing. Alright. Tifa 40! Unbridled strength duration. Weapon ability damage or something more? Bodyguard. Bestial barrage. <sighs> All these different combinations, like these little ones are better for me overall because it's more passive and I have to babysit it less. The combinations are nice, but oftentimes I don't even have them in that combination in any party preset. I really wish they gave me more. It's insane that they gave me like a million different presets for Queen's Blood's decks, but only three for parties. I really think that's insane. Like why, why is it like that? <laughs> are you saying Queen's Blood is more important than the battle, the combat? Well, actually that wouldn't be that surprising either. <laughs> Mega Moogle Mash. Kate, Sith, and Aerith. Damn, that looks fun. Recover HP when dealing damage with unique abilities to a staggered enemy. What's a unique ability? What's considered a unique ability? We find out. Luck. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I thought I was doing Aerith for a bit. No, this is Kate Sith. Moogle damage. That's it for now. MP. Rolling Thunder. Yuffie, Yuffie. Synergy. Yuffie is supposed to be the thief, I guess. Faith status after successfully stealing. I don't do it. Yuffie and Red, United Refocus. Okay. Kind of a boring synergy ability, but a Halcyon Descent. Yeah, we need something like that. Okay, just increase luck. Aerith, wow, it's like a party here. We suddenly had we we're sitting on so much SP. Oh, I haven't been doing the familiar too much lately. Yeah, I gotta get back into that, huh? Spellbound Blast. Hold the button to gather strength. Charge attack. Receive MP from your chosen partner. Okie dokie. Alright. Well, let's go find Apony. That is a that is a tower right here. Let's get it. Camaria's Ranch. Hey, it's right next to you. Why didn't you ever use a tower? 
Does it work for each individual party separately? Or do we just need one person to activate it for the whole region? How does that work out? No one knows. Life Spring! The Chocobo Racing... I, I had my fun with the, the Gus Chocobo Racing. I don't know how much... Oh, I don't know how often we'll be doing it, but we'll, we'll see how hard it is first. Okay, if we want to go to... How do we get there, actually? The easiest way... Oh, there's a quest here. Oh, that's a training course. Wait. Yeah, we gotta capture Apony first. Hmm. Basically forgot which way we came from already. No, we came from that way, so we can go maybe here? This was just the ranch, but the actual Cosmo Canyon is somewhere deeper in. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Oh, hi! Enough is enough, they say. Basilisk. Keep it together. All right, do that. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, wait. Let me do it. Oh no, it died so quickly. No, point blank. Oh, are you done already? I forgot earlier. Watcher's respite. Wait, what? Yeah, 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 we're here. That's like, where'd you go? Now, feeding Victories and some no time to waste. The life springs right here. I wonder if we can quickly get a look at this place. Yeah, this one seems like the landforms will be a little bit easier for us to navigate, hopefully. And it'll be obvious where the life springs are because this place is more of a desert. Kinda like Corel. Thank you. Gulch Life Spring. Cosmo Canyon environmental conditions. Cosmo Canyon is located in the south of the western continent, where countless valleys and caverns have formed in the red clay. In ages past, seismic activity forced the soil to the surface, where it was later eroded by the surging life stream below, giving the region its unique appearance. Throughout the year, the canyon sees very little rainfall, and the temperature variation between the plateaus and the gorges is considerable. As such, it is extremely difficult to grow crops, and the mere act of survival is a daily struggle. Nevertheless, the canyon is a prime destination for students of planetology. Lots of, like, Mako-related stuff here. In addition to scholars and devotees, many tourists can be found here, seeking to take in the mystical air. In more practical terms, the arid conditions and lack of cloud cover, cloud cover facilitate the observation of celestial bodies, making the canyon popular among astronomers. Ooh, maybe kind of like, you know, the whenever they show the water tower with Cloud and Tifa, the starry sky, something like that. Very beautiful and all that. I can imagine. <laughs> 